Welcome back. We continue the news review right here on Power Breakfast. It is on TV. My name is Fred Indimuli. I'm here with Peter Mafuki, Secretary General, Wife of Party, Bitu Salachi, Speaker, County Assembly of Nairobi, and Richard Onyonka, MP Kitutu Chache South. I will tame Nasa Hyena's pledges fired with Tangula. He said he will not attend that uh, Nasa Senator's retreat. What is there to be discussed? I will not participate in the retreat because it will be like a goat subjecting itself to a court of hyenas. And on the Senate seat, he declared, Wakai Nayo Asante. We shall give them small but lethal mm -hmm. doses. Yeah. Now, uh, talking to uh, members of NASA affiliate parties, yeah. every day uh, there's always that one person who says, no, NASA is still strong, NASA will remain united, we, mm -hmm. there are no cracks in NASA, and this are just uh, a few uh, problems that we'll handle. But when it gets to this place where one of the principal de uh, principals declares, yes, I will actually give it to them in small doses, mm -hmm. yes, it is done for NASA. Yeah, no. I would say that uh, NASA, and if you look at NASA and what we've been standing for all along, it is a movement driven by people. It, is over, it has overgrown the leaders, it has overgrown everyone. So therefore, you cannot say because there could be some issues and we cannot dispose they're not there, therefore NASA is finished. NASA is not finished. And uh, if you say so because of uh, Senator Otangula, and I can tell you, Senator Otangula is somebody we have a lot of respect for. Mm -hmm. One is one of the principles of NASA. He has been into this struggle for the last almost 10 years in the whole in our thing. And therefore, to have been treated the way he's been treated by some members of uh, within NASA, that is ODM, of course I would say is very unfortunate. He even confessed that he's been taken through a lot of frustrations, he's been taken through embarrassment, he's been taken through all manner of things. And I can tell you that uh, indeed it is, it is not right, especially when he feels that he has invested mm -hmm. for the last 10 years in supporting an ODM presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. Therefore, even for ODM to keep on saying, you know, we are the majority, we are that. Suppose now the presidential candidate was Ford Kenya, was uh, Watangula. They would be having even more members. Look, if it was look at this headline. If it was... Uh, you insist that NASA is okay. Mm. NASA duo hints at forming strong party for Western. That's on page 8 of the standard. It, are, are you saying this is inaccurate? No. That, what they are in is saying that they won't make possibly to merge. Because you remember uh, Senator Watangula and uh, Honorable Mose, Mose, uh, Mose Mudab Mudabadi, Mudabadi. They have come from two different parties. Mm -hmm. And therefore they are saying, we'll begin better if we are one. Mm -hmm. And therefore, there's nothing wrong with uh, them forming their regional coalition before they come to the national. Therefore, they will come out uh, as strong. So I don't see really anything to, to worry or to make anyone feel because of some of things. Maybe NASA could come out of this stronger. Yes. I tell you this. Because it is informed what, by what people are saying. If you listen to what Wanaingi are saying, that they want a strong NASA. And I think that is what we, that's where we are. And we feel that we continue as ourselves as wiper. I can tell you that we are in NASA and we have no reason whatsoever and we can never regret mm -hmm. because we were... However we much you are dissatisfied or frustrated about what has happened to... Uh, there is Senator no situation, there is no political structure You'll in the world. It. Yes, we'll handle it. Okay. We'll, we'll go into, into this and therefore we are saying we are, we are in NASA to stay. We'll make even NASA stronger. Mm -hmm. And therefore the issues of making feeling of what people want to create an impression that NASA is, is getting out, NASA is no more. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is even right. It's not even healthy for this country. Okay. Yes. Uh, Madam Speaker, you've been in the Senate and you worked with uh, Senator Moses Utangula uh, when he was still minority leader. He comes out as very bitter, very angry, uh, very agitated. Uh, he's been accused by uh, his uh, detractors or rather his critics of being uh, abrasive even in the Senate. Uh, the way he's handling this issue right now, is that uh, typical of him? Is that how he always is as a politician? Well, um, to be honest, yes. Um, what I don't understand is the anger. Um, the anger in all of it. The, the challenge that uh, my leader faces is that uh, when you look at the Senate today, it's a Senate, uh, especially on the NASA side, that have very young, um, a young team. A young team of Moses uh, Kajwang, a young team of Mutula, and, and, and you know, for them, they appreciate uh, you are a leader. And um, I think it is that respect that is just bringing in the issues. Now, I've worked with both uh, my leader, Honorable Moses Wetangula, and uh, Honorable Orengo. And to be honest, even during our time, you will find uh, most of us embracing um, Orengo 
um, because of two things. He always comes out like a father, you know. So I think what my leader needs to do, he has to imagine if he was running Kenya today as a president. You know, this is that you remember even when uh, the president was angry, he would come out and say uh, that anger will not assist. Uh, mm -hmm. Kenyans don't even like people when they are leaders and they are in anger. So for me, the first thing we, he needs to manage is that anger. Mm, I don't think losing the minority seat has made him a lesser person. It is, uh, he is a leader beyond being minority leader. Mm -hmm. So he's a leader who has been a principal, he's a leader of a political party, it's beyond those things. So he just needs to show as a leader, this is, uh, I have left, but I am still the leader of Fort Kenya and I'm a leader in Western and in the whole country where people respect you because he has uh, members of Fort Kenya all over the country mm -hmm. who are in, uh, some of them MCAs and all that. So for me, he needs to, the, the, the only thing that came out so badly was that anger, mm. which I did not understand why he carried it. Because yes. that is what has made him now become, now people are using that to hit on him. Yes. Well, else he would have just decided, let me, I have decided, indeed you are the ones who have given me this leadership, I wish you well and move. He would have become a victim and a darling of many on social media and all, and all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I, 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 I want to credit my sister for being extremely diplomatic, but in the process, uh, really uh, making sure that my party leader scores a zero. I, I, I will score a zero in, in terms of high interpretation, yes. but I'll tell you what it is. No, I said the anger. I will the tell anger. you what, I'm with you, but I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> Honorable Moses Wetangula, who I have worked with as his deputy when I was in the Ministry of Foreign mm -hmm. Affairs, is not a man that as many would like to depict him to be. I can tell you that during NASA, the former Vice President Kalonzo Musioka went out there. They funded NASA for Prime Minister Raila Turana's president. They actually asked their friends in and outside the country to look for resources to mm. support them. I know that Moses Wetangula frequently held meetings uh, Fred, I'm sure you know I'm his second deputy, mm -hmm. held meetings from 7 in the evening until sometimes 3 o'clock in the morning. There were frequent consultations. And yet, every single time these three individuals were sitting down, planning and organizing on how they were going to take on President Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. the energy, the effort, the resources that went into it, I would be angry myself mm -hmm. that all of a sudden, the confidence and the, 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 the relevance that they were holding mm. from that period until now, for the last close, to, last close to 10 years, has now come out to look like, one, these are guys who are cowards. Mm. They cannot go and take an oath where they are declaring uh, uh, Raila Prime Minister as the people's president and therefore these are individuals who because of this one single act mm. therefore you take them and dismiss them with contempt you get on social media and depict them as individuals who don't deserve to be anybody's leader dismiss all the agreements that NASA had agreed on at the summit and come to Parliament basically the National Assembly in the Senate where of course <coughs> Fort Kenya doesn't have a majority of the seats, mm -hmm. but Fort, Fort Kenya delivered close to 400,000 votes from Western Kenya mm -hmm. for Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. Then you contemptuously sit down and argue that Honorable Moses Wetangula is, is arrogant, he doesn't have the public anywhere, what does he deliver? Same thing mm -hmm. that happened to Kalonzo Musioka in mm -hmm. 2008. Same thing that happened to Musale Mudavadi in 2013, mm -hmm. where you basically take leaders and... Um, and, 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 and destroy them politically because of uh, certain agendas which exist or because of a certain arrangement which you feel is going to be beneficial to whoever. The point I would like to make is very simple. NASA would have been a better outfit that would have come in as an opposition party, as an opposition arrangement, which would then actually act 
and come out as uh, as the opposition which is checking the government which mm -hmm. is making sure that we we do an audit on what the government is currently doing and making sure that uh, Kenya moves in the right direction you, you, you've used a uh, past tense yes uh, saying that <laughs> that NASA would have been yes does it mean that now NASA is no longer I can that. tell you as far as I'm concerned listening to what my party leader has talked about it's a done deal. unless the summit comes up with another resolution for us in full Kenya it's a done deal yes you, you hear what he has said you just insisted now yes. that NASA is here to stay and you will survive this he has said uh, a done deal a deputy, uh, uh, a deputy party Fred, Fred a Kenya. clarification a done deal in so far as it will have the four principles in so far as the Prime Minister has moved on it's a done deal mm. So there's a possibility that the three of them, the three mm -hmm. uh, principals are going to get together and agree, okay. like they have said, on whether they are going to convert NASA to become a political party. Is that it? And uh, now that it's, it's clear. NASA minus while loading. And what it? The, the argument of NASA is very clear, that in the event one party exits for whatever reasons, it will still remain in that. Is that the understanding of and, from uh, Wiper now and, uh, that, that, and, that one party has already exited? No, what we are saying is that uh, and ODM has not come out actually to say that they have exited. But what we are saying is that in the event they decide to exit, we still remain intact because that is what people are saying. You know, say for somebody like uh, Sifuna and I was listening to him when he says the so called principles, to me that's marks of arrogance and that kind of a thing. And I think we need a bit of a part of beating of some of these leaders because they don't understand. Of course, I must appreciate for him a bit excited in any morning because of the position he's gotten from, from ODM and so forth. But safe to say, NASA is, is, a, is a coalition of four parties. And in the event that ODM decide for whatever reason they want to leave, they will still leave NASA okay. an intact. So, so the, uh, from Fort Kenya's perspective, NASA is already minus ODM. That is true. From Wiper's perspective, ODM is still there. It's, it's not come out clearly to tell us And, and the signals have been there. ODM okay. took all the, the <laughs> positions in, yeah. in Parliament. True. They have taken all the chairmanship yeah. of all yeah, the yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, committees in Parliament. Yeah. They, they, we knew, okay. for us, we knew that the, the signals were there, only that we were here waiting and hoping that somebody somewhere would look and say, you're better off having these four parties together yeah. than dismembering them and going away on your okay. own. And uh, Fred, I'll say uh, yes. for both, it's important just uh, let NASA uh, just continue be w how it is at the moment. But each party can rebuild itself. I'm, I'm thinking the, the, the importance of just looking back and just move on, wiper, go and just rethink of what strategy do you want to bring back within mm. NASA? Because NASA is your coalition, yes. But you have those uh, agendas you believed in as a party. I'm thinking Fort Kenya, just move back and rethink and re-strategize on how you re-energize back NASA so that when you're picking it up, you, are, you have one decision to move. At that time, you'll have learned what your big brothers would really want, whether yes. they are still there <laughs> or they are not there. I'm sure okay. it will be yeah. worse for Jubilee because they're in one party. No, 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 I'm not they saying that. One another. I, I, I'm not saying this, I'm not saying this because, because of one party. The day Jubilee okay. implodes. And, 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 and I'm not saying this because of one party. No, no, no. Uh, I'm <laughs> just saying, yeah. as a Secretary General who has also run a small party, uh, that it's important sometimes to just move out of those coalitions and, and think about your party and, and, and rebrand it. So that even when you're coming back, you know how to manage yes. all those... Uh, because uh, the feeling is that there's a lot of there. anger, and probably yeah. most of the decisions right now pronounced yeah, 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 are based yeah. on the anger, not really strategy. Yeah, not, uh, and I can tell you, uh, when you talk to the principals, all of them, and, and of course uh, I appreciate what uh, Senator Watangula is feeling, he has been betrayed, he has put in everything, and he has a reason as a human being to feel what he's feeling. But I think at some point they will sit down, retreat and rethink. Okay. I'm telling you NASA will come out stronger, that's what people want. He was talking to people from Kitui, today is a by-election of Kitui West, where yes. Nyenza was, and mm. I wish my sister, sister Nyenza uh, to take it, this and that. Well, it, 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 it is election day and uh, <laughs> yes. campaigns are not allowed. I'll have to... Uh, actually uh, say that that is not from Citizen TV. <laughs> 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 Those are their own